Hi friends, today let's put Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon into the spotlight. As most people know, How to Train Your Dragon started off as a book series. So I guess we'll share? Read it. However, when DreamWorks decided to adapt it into movies, a lot of aspects of the series were changed. One of these big changes gave us the character Astrid. I want to know what's going on. No one just gets as good as you do. Astrid doesn't exist in the books, however she is heavily based off of the character named Kamikaze. Kamikaze is one of Hiccup's best friends in the books. She is often described as being hyperactive and slightly overconfident. Though it took her a while to trust her friends, throughout the series she ends up being very brave and very, very loyal towards them. She is quite disdainful towards men and often feels she needs to prove herself as an equal to her male counterparts. Physically, she is described as being quite a small girl. In the books, they're much, much younger than they are in the movies. They're around 10, 11, whereas in the movies, they're closer to 17, 18. She has wild blonde hair, blue eyes, and a ferocious expression. Most of Kamikaze's personality and physical traits ended up being split up between Astrid and Roughnut. I'm hoping for some mauling, like on my shoulder or lower back. Yeah, it's only fun if you get a scar out of it. However, we know that Kamikaze was the inspiration for Astrid's character as they both have a dragon named Stormfly. The black sheep! Come on, Stormfly! Though, again, in the books, Stormfly looks very different than she does in the movie. When DreamWorks got the rights to turn these books into movies, they decided that Kamikaze would play a slightly different role in the movie. Rather than only being Hiccup's best friend, she would also be the love interest. Astrid. Cressida Cowell, the author of the movie, explains that Kamikaze's name comes from the Japanese word Kamikaze. Though it means divine wind, it also has connotations to the Japanese suicidal pilots. DreamWorks decided that this connotation was too politically incorrect for the movie. It was therefore decided to have Hiccup's love interest be named Astrid, as it's a name from Norse origins. If you're wondering, Astrid means divine beauty or God's strength. Oh, their job is so much cooler. Do you know what your name means? And if so, are you comfortable with sharing it with me? Please tell me in the comment section down below. If you want to see any of my other videos, you can click here to watch a video all about Toothless, or you can click here and find a video that YouTube has picked for you. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and I hope you consider subscribing. Until next time, happy bubbles!